very good evening. Welcome to uh, St. Thomas's College Big Club Grounds uh, here in Mount Lavinia. It's a beautiful day. It rained in the morning, but it has subsided now. A good sunshine burning down towards this pitch here in Mount Lavinia, the Big Club Grounds. It's a wonderful day for a Canon RS Serum Trophy the Shield game between Trinity College and St. Thomas's College. Trinity coming after one of the best performance this season, and in fact, one of the best in this in this history of Bradby Shield for 75 years. They almost uh, got that shield back home to Candy, just going down by six points and rated one of the best performance coming down. But St. Thomas's College, on the other hand, coming after a win against Science College. And this will be one cracker of an encounter. It's a league game. It's also a game that will be played for a prestigious shield of Canon RSD Serum. We should be here and joining me on the commentary box for this evening is uh, Clifford Surendran. Good evening, Clifford. Good evening, Dina. Good evening to all the viewers. Look at that weather. Beautiful. Today's conditions, 30 degrees. That's partly cloudy, but I don't see much cloud here. It's beautiful sunshine and also the wind. Yes, it is known fact here in this particular grounds and 18 kilometers an hour. That's that's the record it stays. But then again, the humidity is perfect for a game of rugby and beautiful afternoon. 64th Canon RSD. Serum Shield. Well, that's the encounter they are playing against, whereas Trinity has won most of it and chance for St. Thomas's to catch up. But it's going to be a tough ask for St. Thomas's. But also, on the other hand, if you look at St. Thomas's, this is a hard to beat ground for them. And they have done so well here. Yeah, yeah. every team that have travelled down here have struggled in, the, in this season and St. Thomas's almost have had all their games here at the at the big club grounds. If I'm if I if my memory is right, the last time Trinity played here was in 2009, and Trinity lost their game. St. Thomas's came on top, but after that they've been playing at Havelock Park and Sia, and finally they have moved to their home grounds here, where they train the St. Thomas's College team, and they will want to keep this uh, keep this uh, place as uh, one of the toughest to beat. Yeah, that's true. So that's going to be a tough task for Trinity to beat St. Thomas's at their home grounds. But also, if you look at the history, both the teams have already played 63 encounters for this particular shield, or rather the championship. And Trinity has won 37 out of it, where St. Thomas's have won 23 and out of three drawn games. Well, that's the history between St. Thomas and Trinity. And Canon Deserum Trophy was first played in 78. So this is the 41st encounter they're playing. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to be one epic encounter, I can promise you that. But there's lots more on the other side of this commercial break that we will go into. We will come back when uh, just before the team starts uh, on the lineup. And uh, both teams have just walked out for warm up. So there's plenty of time before we come back into action. I have news. Let's meet. To be a man is to sweat for every last inch of it. 
harder you push yourself, the louder your body will protest. From sweat to grease, grease to dandruff. Fight back with Clear Men. Two times the fighting power of ordinary shampoos. Beat grease, beat dandruff. Unbeatable performance for the unbeatable man. Power through the odds. Clear, zero dandruff, nothing to hide. Drift in search of happiness. Fashion inspired by emotion. Glitz, the fashion destination. श्रीलंका मिहिरा <laughs> श्रीलांकिक समगे तेरी नो लिमिट डिस्कवर fashion inspired by emotion glitz the fashion destination Hello there, welcome back. You're joining us here live and exclusively on www.thepapare.com here at the Mount Lavinia, the big club grounds. St. Thomas is taking on Trinity, and you can see both the teams are warming up. 
and Trinity coming after a fresh win against Royal College, a promising display where they almost won the Bradbury Shield and they fought really hard with so much of confidence they're coming into St. Thomas's but playing here is not easy. Well, there you go. So those are the other games scheduled for the day. St. Peter's taking on St. Joseph's and also Royal taking on Isi Patana at Royal Complex and at Bumblepitya once again it's St. Peter's St. Joseph's. So it's going to be a deciding weekend. It's going to be an exciting weekend and it's not only Trinity Peters, uh, Trinity St. Thomas's. If you look at the rundown, St. Joseph's, they are going to have a tough time at St. Peter's and St. Peter's, they are playing a wonderful rugby this season and also Royal, they are going to have a challenge from the green machine. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's a Super Saturday that we call it and it is one here. Of course, we have the, uh, it's, a, it's a Super Saturday globally because we have the Super Rugby quarterfinals also happening. Crusaders uh, and Aguaris yesterday qualified uh, for the semis and there will be two teams that will be playing today in fact one will be one was over already i guess and uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes this was last week's uh, encounter this was one of the cracking games Wesley College taking on uh, St. Joseph's College, one of the best games of the season. It was crappy, but Wesley finally, as their coach Paul Toya said, they knew how to win the game. And St. Joseph's College coming after an OK performance here, went back to see their home grounds and couldn't uh, ke keep up uh, for to Wesley College. Here we go, the 75th Bradby Shield second leg, which we brought to you live on the papare.com from Royal College Sports Complex. That is Amit Kulatunga. He will not want to see that yellow again. And Minindu Jazz Sundara will want to score more tries today when he comes out against St. Thomas's College. All elite schools playing this weekend as well. Kojina Kulatunga will want to make another impact off the bench. 24 points to 13. How that finished on that day by just six points. The Bradby Shield remained at Reed Avenue. And then St. Peter's College just ran over Isipatana College at their newly constructed home ground stadium at Bambalapitya and they're just putting their authority there and Peter's Isipatana College didn't look as uh, they normally do and St. Peter's College finally just managing to go over Isipatana College a scare a lot of injury scare through that Peter's camp as uh, what we have known so if they win today they will take this league to a next week and still have to wait on other performances to see if they will come on top on our 27 points to 21. That's how that finished. And then we came here last week against Science College taking against taking on St. Thomas's College. And a quick turnaround for St. Thomas's College this week. It was only a five-day break. 37 points to nine. They thumped Science College and they'll be coming in high in confidence for this uh, Canon RS Deserum Shield here at the big club grounds in Mount Lavinia. This was how the game finished uh, last week. Wesley thumping St. Joseph's 15 points to 13. Trinity beating Royal 24 points to 13. St. Peter's beating Isipatana 27-21. And St. Thomas's College beating Science 37 points to 9. Let's look at the points table, how it stands. It's a very top, heavy, dominant top three. St. Peter's, Royal and St. Joseph. St. Peter's will want to finish this with a bonus point to just negate any threats that will come off Royal College and Isipatan and St. Joseph's College. First, they have to win the game today against St. Joseph's. It's going to be a tough ask, but they're playing in their home grounds. And then Royal playing against Isipatana. It, it's uh, always... An exciting match to see Royal playing Isipatana because both those schools, they will not give an inch. So it's uh, 40, 35, 35, the top three running for the league. And then we have a distant fourth place with Isipatana College 28, St. Thomas's 28, Wesley 25, Trinity 17 and Science 12. So Trinity will also want to finish this uh, league uh, in a high note to stay in that mid table rather than that bottom half.
Here are the top try scorers uh, of the Single Schools League 2019 so far. Kavindana Pereira and Tenukunana Kara sharing that top try scorer with seven. Vinogi Shapkulatunga is also on that list, but he has not been in great form after that break. And Tenukunana Kara for St. Peter's in that 74 points with the top point scorer charts. Clifford, it's, it's a closely contested league. But there's a top three that is uh, who will be who will be playing against each other. That's Royal, St. Peter's, St. Joseph's. Yeah, it's a three-horse race. Well, there you go. So that's a stat between these two teams for the last three years. Uh, we are, I remember 2016. So 23-20 was a close call, and then again 17-29-14 uh, comfortable victory for Trinity. And 34-24 in last year, Trinity once again they won. So this is the third year where Trinity will be taking the title, or rather they are aiming to take the title and take the retain the shield back home in Kandy. Yeah, Navin Hena Kankanam Gis team up in Pallakale beat Trinity College last year when Rahul Karnatiraka captain that uh, Trinity 2016 team. That was a last minute try the nook which turned the game and skipper Hina Kanganangi did a fantastic uh, job. That was a jubilant Torbians in the return to Colombo. There you go. So that's the uh, this season. St. Thomas has played 8-1-4, lost three, and also they drew one against Isipatana. And uh, well, that's that's an average season. But then again, having seen their side, I think they should have done better. Well, they could have done better. And yes, Trinity again will not be happy with the performances. Seven played, three won, and four lost. But this year has been a building phase for Trinity College to create a depth, a pool in the depth, and also a depth pool which will uh, supply players for the next four to five years. And that's what uh, their primary focus has been this year for Trinity College. Well, that's true. So, junior rugby has been evolved once again. And. Uh, well, in between the under 18s are doing so well, 15s are doing so well. And in the first 15, they are in the rebuilding process. This was uh, the Canon RS Disneyland Shield played last year in a muddy Pallakale surface, which was relayed this year. And Trinity College came on top. They scored the first try, converted it, and uh, from there on, St. Thomas's came back. And Trinity College managed to hold on. Some of those players who uh, made a debut are starting this season. That's uh, 13 points to 3 at halftime, how it finished. St. Thomas came back hard. And, uh, but it was a bit too late for St. Thomas's College to finish. And the shield remained in candy at uh, the Trinity College Rugby Stadium in Palgali. Twenty-seven ten, And then it finished with another try for Trinity College. Aruna Shant officiated that game. He will be assisting Akhil Jamaldin today in this game. 34 points to 24, how that finished in last year. Both teams have uh, come up, come down to warm up. And uh, with team cards, toss and more for kickoff, we'll be back after a short commercial break.
පොල්ලඩි ගහන හැටි දැකලා තියනවද හැබැයි කලාවට හයව ගහන හැටි දැකලා තියනවද අන්න ඒකයි ක්‍රීඩාව කියන්නේ කලාව ඔන්න ඔය කලාව අල්ල ගන්න පුළුවන් ක්‍රීඩා කලාකාරයෙකුට අපේ වේදිකාවේ ඉඩ අරින්නයි අපි මේ හදන්නේ සමාජ ජාල ගැන හොඳ අවබෝධයක් තියෙන ක්‍රීඩාව ගැන ඊටත් වඩා හොඳ අවබෝධයක් තියෙන මේ දෙකම නිර්මාණශීලීව වෙලාවට කලාවට කරන්න පුළුවන් කෙනෙකුට ද පපරේ සිංහල page එක බාර දෙන්න අපි සූදානම් කැමතිද අපිට කතා කරන්න මේ තියෙන අපේ email එක මේ තියෙන්නේ අපේ hotline එක පොල්ලඩි නම් ගහන්න තහනම් Hello everyone we are here at the Sofia Garden in Kaj it's around the wicket time on the papare.com
To be a man is to sweat for every last inch of it. The harder you push yourself, the louder your body will protest. From sweat to grease, grease to dandruff. Fight back with Clear Men. Two times the fighting power of ordinary shampoos. Beat grease, beat dandruff. Unbeatable performance for the unbeatable man. Power for the odds. Clear, zero dandruff, nothing to hide. Sri Lanka ka samake terim no limit Then Goldio body spray hatunwa den alut marut madini hatrakin blaze challenge storm sah rave adama try karanna Goldio body spray pevisi hatrapura When she's special she's not just a girlfriend she is your sweetheart When you feel it you don't just call it sunshine you call it warmth When you reveal your deepest emotions it's not just art it's freedom and when its essence is premium cocoa butter it's not just chocolate it's ravello chocolate so special you call it ravello Drift in search of happiness fashion inspired by emotion Glitz, the fashion destination. Lili seat rasni anu hede gesse na. Smart ne. Bituliya adu wedi huna ma hasurra ganna va. Smart. Bituli tiyan kem bi ma handuna ganna va. Dora arina vahana vara gana hoda da ganna va. Action and smart vela. Sinuchi o shita karani. Eda niya mai eda karai dekka ma asai. ओने डायलॉग पारिभाषिक सेवा मध्य स्थान एक्वेट पे विशेष डायलॉग टेलीविजन स्ट्रूलंका में अंक एके टेलीविजन रसा स्वादे अबे अम्मा चेंज चेंज ला 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 उन्हें कर चेंज ला 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 यार कर चेंज ला 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 अबे अम्मा चेंज ला यार बोश नली बन्दे यार बोश अम्मा देने यार बोश දැන් යහ පොෂා දන්නේ ඉරිඟ සහල් මුං සෝයා විතරක් නිවේ කිරෙත් එකතු කරලා ඒ නිසා මා චේන්ජ් වුණා ලංකාවේ ළමයින්ගේ අලුත්ම සෝයා ගැනීම මේක රස එක බැලිබන් යහ පොෂ රස එකට චේන්ජ් වෙන්න කිසි ගැම්මක් නැහැ පදම පරක්කු වෙයි සුමීරි පානේ පදමට ගහලා දවස පුරා ගතට දැනෙන මිහිරක් බුබුදා හොඳම මැලිබන්තේ කහට පදම නියමෙට රස සමග මුසුණා මැලිබන්තේ එක අපේ දවස රස වුණා පදම වරුනේ කහට පදම නියමෙට රස සමග මුසුණා මැලිබන්තේ පදමට කහට No limit. Discover fashion inspired by emotion. Glitz, the fashion destination. පොල්ලටි ගහන හැටි දැකලා තියනවද හැබැයි කලාවට හයේ වගහන හැටි දැකලා තියනවද අන්න ඒකයි 
ක්‍රීඩාව කියන්නේ කලාවක්. ඔන්න ඔය කලාව අල්ල ගන්න පුළුවන් ක්‍රීඩා කලාකාරයෙකුට අපේ වේදිකාවේ ඉඩාරින්නයි අපි මේ හදන්නේ. සමාජ ජාලා ගැන හොඳ අවබෝධයක් තියෙන ක්‍රීඩාව ගැන ඊටත් වඩා හොඳ අවබෝධයක් තියෙන මේ දෙකම නිර්මාණශීලීව වෙලාවට කලාවට කරන්න පුළුවන් කෙනෙකුට the paper සිංහල page එක බාර දෙන්න අපි සූදානම්. කැමතිද? අපිට කතා කරන්න. මේ තියෙන අපේ email එක. මේ තියෙන අපේ hotline එක. පොල් අඩි නම් ගහන්න තහනම්. Hello everyone, we are here at the Sofia Gardens in Kaj. It's around the wicket time on the papare.com. राजपाटे <laughs> පොල්ලටි ගහන හැටි දැකලා තිනවද හැබැයි කලාවට හයේ වගහන හැටි දැකලා තිනවද අන්න ඒකයි ක්‍රීඩාව කියන්නේ කලාවක් ඔන්න ඔය කලාව අල්ල ගන්න පුළුවන් ක්‍රීඩා කලාකාරයෙකුට අපේ වේදිකාවේ ඉඩාරින්නයි අපි මේ හදන්නේ සමාජ ජාලා ගැන හොඳ අවබෝධයක් තියෙන ක්‍රීඩාව ගැන ඊටත් වඩා හොඳ අවබෝධයක් තියෙන මේ දෙකම නිර්මාණශීලීව වෙලාවට කලාවට කරන්න පුළුවන් කෙනෙකුට ද පපරේ සිංහල page එක බාර දෙන්න අපි සූදානම් කැමතිද අපිට කතා කරන්න මේ තියෙන අපේ email එක මේ තියෙන්නේ අපේ hotline එක Hello everyone, we are here at the Sofia Gardens in Kaj. It's around the wicket time on the papare.com.
ඉවරපු යාල්පානතෙල් වල මාතර කොටවිල ගම්පියසට ඇවිල්ලා තියෙනවා සිද්ධදාස ඇඩ් මොරටුව ඊගම මහින්ද රාජපක්ෂ ක්‍රීඩාංගණ කිලක් මහල සුගතදාස ඉන්ඩෝ ස්ටේඩියම් ඊස් අර් ද ෆොක්ස් හිල් සුපර් ක්‍රොස් ගල සිරි ඇතුගල් පුරවරය බබරි ඩොට් කොම් අපි අද ඇවිල්ලා ඉන්නේ නෝරෙලිය ප්‍රදේශයේ ෆයිනල් ෂෝ ඩවුන් කැන්ඩි ස්පෝට්ස් ක්ලබ් පොර්නරුව ජාතික සංකීර්ණයේ සිට Welcome back to the big club grounds here in uh, Mount Lavinia. It's St. Thomas's College versus Trinity College for the Canon RS Deserum Shield coming to you live on the papre.com. It's a beautiful e- evening here in Colombo. If the weather gods if uh, stay away from uh, this pitch it, it could be one uh, fantastic game of uh, rugby as we have uh, both teams lined up. We just uh, run through the St. Thomas's uh, team sheet. Adi Sahandun Patrina Senuk Pereira and Jason Daniel in a tried and tested front row and then the dangerous Harit Sena Naika the skipper Dunal Fernando who can pluck anything off that line out Adi Aditya Siembala Pitya and Kavin Jayasekar one of the best performers for St Thomas's this season and Revan Kabevadana will have a game on his hands along with Sakit Pereira and Yan Disoisa have uh, found a new combination in this uh, St Thomas's lineup with uh, Hasita Dharma Priya Sadaki Shak has had a decent season Tevin Niriagama also comes back after sitting out in the first round Shashan Rajapaksa and Sanjeev Chaturanga will complete the 15 along with Shivan Daniel Revanti Sera Ijaz Karyappa Akib Kada Samarakodi Yapa Sirivardana Karuna Ratna Ovin Hetiarachi will try to make an impact off the bench along with Avinda Rekava Here's the Trinity lineup Nimesh Ekanayaka Shakya Sena Nayaka comes in for his first start in this season and Madi Abdullah a heavy front row all weighing more than 100 kg and then we have a lighter second row but tall ones Chetia Pananwala and Umer Ismail starting his second after a wet fantastic performance in that second leg of the Bradby Dulanjit Netwara Direndra Ratwate Antidas Santrige will be the third row which also started in the second leg of the Bradby Shield Tehan Karuna Nayak and Minindu Jay Sundar will be the 9 and 10 this is a key combination for trinity's playing patterns tevin karunanayaka tehans twin brother at 12 harsha samarasinga will be a marked man but he will be looking for a lot of space on that outside channel experienced amit kulatunga janindu ratnayaka and reshan bandanayaka to complete the 15 with damian tennakon neranjan vitana dropping to the bench salia dunumpola mekan yashwant lenox kalyana ratna zaid faisal and uh, Kojana Kulatunga all coming with experience and impact of that bench with Miranga Subasinga Sham Robinson and Geesha Pakulatunga to complete the Trinity lineup for today. As uh, the formalities before the kick off of this shield game has just taken place and we will uh, go into school songs for both schools and it's will be time for kick off after that
All formalities done and dusted here at the big club, big club grounds at uh, St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia. Good evening, Clifford. It's a beautiful evening here in Colombo. Uh, there was uh, rain in the morning, like we said before, and there has been uh, a good period of strong, sunny afternoon. And now we have a lovely evening with the sun setting off the seaside. Akhil Jamaldin will be the referee today along with Aruna Shanta and Pradeep Indika, the two assistant referees. Trinity College will be playing slightly with the wind because it's a crosswind with blows, but across the ground that it blows in the first half and St. Thomas's College will kick off. Well, that's going to be a definite advantage for Trinity, the wind coming from behind for them and that will help to carry the ball forward. So they have to be um, taking advantage on that but also St. Thomas is playing in these grounds. It's tough. We have seen that. But they had a, an average season, I wouldn't say. But, um, well, they, they did drive against Isipatana. And also, last week, a confidence-boosting victory. Kick-off by Jan Di Soisa. Goes deep in uh, to the Trinity field. Off to Tidas Tantirige. And down it comes to Minindu Jayasundara who keeps the ball in field of play and Trinity and St. Thomas has now an opportunity to attack but uh, they go right behind to Abe Vardana off the base a bit slow to their skipper early on Senanayaka Pereira giving the ball out wide to Dunal and Dunal stepping off a couple of players but pushed into touch so early exchanges, Trinity trying to clear but not going into touch, Clifford. Yeah, good momentum there by St. Thomas early on putting the pressure on Trinity. And uh, the Cardinal area was not finding touch, having the advantage of the wind. They opted to go for touch, probably the ball got pushed in. And St. Thomas is building momentum from here. And that's going to be the first move, or rather the first set piece in the game. Chance for St. Thomas's. Trinity also the uh, Dinuk looking very sharp and uh, that's something we have to take note of coming after the Bradby victory so much of confidence for them yeah exactly they have found a new mojo inside that team and this is uh, this will test them if they can keep it consistently number one, number one straight, number one straight. it has been a problem for Trinity good push by the and it's Number a penalty one. against uh, St. Thomas's College. The number one going inside says the uh, referee Akhil Jamaldin. Well, finding to cope up, uh, finding it difficult to cope up with the Trinity front row, three heavy forwards, and almost 300 kilograms there plus, I would say. And well, that's what caused that error. Opting to go for touch and kicking against the wind. Yeah, good call. Still have uh, are inside their own half Trinity College. Good launch pant to attack. First throw for Shakya Senanayaka. Young hooker for Trinity College get. And Donald Fernando, as he has been doing all season, jumps in front of Umer Ismail and gets that. He has an opportunity. St. Thomas's College moving it wide. Comes Iriagama. Iriagama offloading into Ishak and going into contact is uh, Sadak Ishak. Yes, Pereira to Jan Di Soisa. This is where St. Thomas is a very release, strong. Release yes, uh, Pereira, Sakit Pereira to Jan Di Soisa once again. Push back, referee playing a penalty advantage for knocking the ball down. There was no breakthrough, that's a... Very good They're refereeing good. there by Akhil. There is no way that uh, St. Thomas is going to score off that move, so there is no yellow, but it's a deliberate knock-on. And St. Thomas is going for three points. Yeah, it was a good call by Akhil Jabaldin. He was spot on there. And uh, well, it was not deliberate, but then again, uh, or rather there was no try-scoring opportunity. So therefore, there's no yellow card. But also, if you look at it, um, well, looking at the way St. Thomas is attacking, it's early on and they are putting a lot of pressure on Trinity 
where Trinidad is trying to get themselves organized but conceding a penalty in the, in the process. So clear chance for three points. It's going to be a good attempt. Kickable distance, but he'll be kicking slightly against the wind. But I'm sure he's got plenty of experience. Yeah, he would have been kicking hundreds and thousands of kicks here from pre-season. Hiryagama, very good kicker, good uh, cricketer as well. Has the distance, has the direction in between the post. It goes for a three-pointer. So from kickoff, St. Thomas's College didn't come out of that Trinity half and come out with only three points on the board. There will be a lot of pressure on the young Shakya Senanayaka because he has such a good jumper, a basketball player for St. Thomas's College to get that right in the lineouts. As you can see the replay, a lovely kick. Minidu Jayasundra will restart. Confidence boosting three points for St. Thomas's. Early on the game, 3 0. St. Thomas is leading. Jayasundra trying to get something off the wind. Here's Iria Gama. After that kick, straight away fielding the ball and trying to barge his way through. They're going down, trying to run from the 22 is St. Thomas's College. A lovely offload, a good pass through the middle there by Abebada. Of Siambala Pitya was that pass. Pereira once again to Jan De Soisa puts the chip behind and a bit too overcooked into touch. Good, good uh, patterns of play by St. Thomas's College. Trinity defense coming up, putting the kick behind and also lovely interchanges, good offloads going into contact. Yeah, good to see St. Thomas is playing some intelligence rugby and they saw the Trinity line charging forward and opted to go for that. And beautiful run, look at that powerful offload and also taking two defenders on there on the move. And once again, the line out lost, and it's again a chip and chase. Bandar Naik are tracking back the skipper for Trinity College, and the ball just kept on running behind. And looks like, looks like, it'll be referred to the assistant referee. Bandar Naik was a bit too casual, just letting that ball run. Referee Arun Shanta. For me, the rounding was good by the blue uh, because yellow was staying upright. That's a try for St. Thomas's College. Very lethargic by Rashan Bandaranayaka. Not going down, falling on the ball. Look at this, the ball is bouncing towards the in goal. It goes now. He should have just dumped on top of that now. He was waiting till it go. A lovely chase by Sadaki Shak to score that try. And he was not looking back, but a beautiful kick and chase by the Tomians. Yeah, no second thought about it. Shada Kishak definitely charging for that ball. It was very evident. And Bandar Naika not keeping an eye on the defender or rather the attacking player and conceding that try. That was a massive, massive error. I hope it's not going to cost the game for Trinity. But St. Thomas's, they are on the lead. 8 0 on the board already. Yeah, the, on the 22, just outside the 22 is Iriagama taking that kick good slot but goes off the left post the score will remain 8-0 the cloud cover is uh, slowly coming on top of this uh, big club grounds here in uh, Mount Lavinia and if it's a drizzle it will look at this a lovely kick look at Rashan now still tracking back tracking back he lets it bounce inside in goal and he thought it will just go towards oops I think Rashan Caught the ball, but Ishak just uh, took the ball away from him. Yeah, that was a good call by the AR. And, uh, well, it's, it's just simply like, you know, it's an error by the, the defender. Good space spotted there by Minindu Jayasundara. But Kavin Jayasekara taking the ball up, a knock forward by... Uh, stump, stump. For a moment, he thought it was a penalty. But chance for Trinity to build from there. First time Trinity coming into the Tomian, uh, well, Tomian territory. And from there, probably they'll be able to make something out of it. Now they have to regroup, organize themselves, talk to each other and get some points on the board. They're already eight down. And St. Thomas is playing some cracking rugby here. And Trinity already under pressure. 8-0, St. Thomas is leading. And a lot of, lot of pressure just outside the 22. 
fine. As the Trinity scrum now. Sit. Sit here. That's good. That's good. Good place to attack. Comes back at uh, Tantirige, who picks it up, runs straight into centre, and rolling away and Your goes. Feet, blue. Here is an opportunity to Bandar Naika. Bandar Naika stepping off one, stepping off another. No, has no to heads, make no immense heads, to the try that he gave away. Here's Ismail. Oh, lovely big kick, but uh, big no tackle. Heads, no heads. But it's an offside advantage for Trinity College. Jay Sundara off to Ekanayaka. Now Mahdi Abdullah going into contact. Okay, hands off, no blue. No stippling. Coming out wide to Harsha Samara Singha. Referee still playing advantage for Trinity College. Amit Kulatunga now acting as the scrum half. And going into contact is Nimesh Ekanayaka. Here is Tehan. Gives it to Dulanjit Netwara. The number six for Trinity College. Quick ball out wide to Rashan Bandanayaka. Puts the... Roll away first. Roll away. Accelerator on yeah, and okay, goes yeah. forward. Advantage over. Advantage over now for Trinity College. Second. And running into contact is uh, Chetia Pananwala. Now Jaya Sundar off to Ekanayaka. Trying to play an expansive game here. Okay, but now we are off it, Blue. Off it. Here is uh, Tehan Karunanayaka. Stepping off one, stepping off another. Looking for... No hands, Blue. Space on the outside. Ball pops off. Outside. Another advantage coming for Trinity College. Two in the red zone for St. Thomas's. Pick and drive by uh, Umar Ismail. Here is Nimesh Ekanayaka. Along with his uh, prop forward, Mahdi Abdullah. No penalty on the occasion. Advantage for Trinity College. So it will be another penalty. But it will be a big call to make because the lineup has not been functioning well for Trinity College. Yeah, I had to wait and see they're opting to go for the scrum, the three points or the touch. So that's going to be a massive, massive call by the skipper. Yeah, Rashan just checking with uh, Diren Ratwata if he's 100% sure going into touch. He's confident as the rain comes down. It'll be a five meter scrum, a five meter line out rather for Trinity College. Shock your Sena Naika to throw in. Yeah, that's a good move, sensible thing to do. They want to get closer. They had a beautiful passage of play, Trinity picking up momentum, but still down by eight points. Can they make something out of this line out? The first two line outs, what they want, they managed to give it away. And can they manage to make this right? Well, slippery hands, you can see the ball has been passed around. And I had to wait for the match ball. It's a beautiful passage of play there by Trinity. Building that ball, so many faces having control over that. And nicely reconstructed on several locations. Opting to go for that five points, but winning only a penalty. <laughs> Problems with the ball. This will give uh, opportunity for both teams to regroup, take a breather and organize themselves. And St. Thomas is under pressure at the moment. Having conceded Trinity into their own territory, five meters away from five points. But the advantage is St. Thomas is leading. Just only 11 minutes into the game, 8-0. Finally, we have found one. And Fernando is once again at the back, but this time they're going to number four and got it right. It's a mall. It goes backwards. And here's Tehan off to Minindu, going to Tevin Karnanayaka into contact. Comes to Nimesh Ekanayaka, who's trying to bust his way through one. Coming to the short side to Mahdi Abdullah. Abdullah stepping off one and going into contact. Karnanayaka once again to Nimesh Ekanayaka. Both prop forwards twisting and turning. Nimesh Ekanayaka. And here's Dulanjit Netwara now. Goes alone, isolated. Comes back to Tehan once again. A lot of pressure You're put on, on the, the scrum off. Referee playing advantage. It's a pick and drive from Nimesh Ekanayaka. Inches close to the try line now. 
trying to pick and drive, pick and drive through. Are the forwards of uh, Trinity College now comes out to Amit Kulatunga. Steps off one, steps off another. And uh, the tackler needs to release. It's held up. Going for the advantage for offside, okay? Offside. Okay. So Mark is here. Yeah, good bit of play there by Trinity, putting a lot of pressure on St. Thomas is off foot and quickly taken, goes for the touchdown, has he touched it? Has he touched it? Once again held up. Five meter scrum for Trinity College, Nimesh Ekanayaka taking that quickly. Oh, then I would say that's a missed opportunity, but I've organized a little bit better. Going down into scrum with this rainy weather conditions, it's going to be a little bit a tough task to hold on to those pressure. There's uh, rain pouring and also uh, there's sun shining on this uh, ground here at uh, Mount Levinia, the St. Thomas's College ground. Looks a bit weird though. <laughs> <laughs> but Trinity holding ground at the moment. They have five. the advantage just five meters away. If they can get over, they'll be back in the game. Eight nil, St. Thomas is leading. Trinity going in with that ball. Beautiful ball coming out. Number eight going for that. Here's Tidas Tantrije breaking off that uh, eight. Now Nimesh once again trying okay, to go through. through to the try line. Coming outside, there is too much uh, space, but it's a knock forward there by Direndra Ratwatta. Trying to go for the try line rather than recycling, giving away a scrum for St. Thomas's College. It's a slippery ball. Yeah, and opting to go for the corner flag, he could have stepped inside, had an option. But then again, he saw that white line, and it's just the white line fever, you call it. And he was going for that dive. Unfortunately, it's a knock forward. So, chance for St. Thomas's. It's a turnover ball. Scrum in favor of St. Thomas's. Can they get out of trouble? Trade has been putting a lot of pressure for the last few minutes. And St. Thomas's. Now they can breathe a little bit. Fine. Steady. Steady, steady. Fifteen minutes on the Both clock. Both sides have to pu uh, push from goal post to goal post, not inside, okay? Both sides. Well, Nimei Sheikh was having a fantastic game and he's been very much involved in each and every move. What a player. Crouch. Bayern. Set. Steady. Penalty for Trinity College, or rather the St. Thomas's College, this time the Titan going in. So then knock forward of Ratwat, uh, turned it to a penalty now, and it'll be exit for St. Thomas's College. Opportunities gone begging for Trinity in the last five more minutes. It'll be a 22 meter line out for St. Thomas's College, just inside, on the mark of the 22. Yeah, it was an error and unfortunate, a missed opportunity, whatever you call it. Five points missed and it's a turnover and now St. Thomas has the line out, conceding a penalty. Now they are in a comfortable position to get out, good line out, Backwards. not cleanly taken but seems like a turnover for Trinity. Knocked back by St. Thomas's off that line out. Trinity trying to go in close. Now this time on occasion. A knock forward by St. Thomas's. So Trinity gain ball once again on the 22 meter mark. It has been a scrappy affair so far. The rain will make it even more difficult to grip this ball. Because it has stopped. Again it's... Uh, from goal post to goal, so sure yeah, the rain has the stopped, but okay. a little bit, little bit wet conditions here, slippery, but very breezy too. And even the sun is shining, and it looks like a summer in Norelia. <laughs> <laughs> well, Crouch. eight nil to St. Thomas's, scrum in favor of Trinity. Bile. And can they carry that momentum Set. again? Steady, that's good, that's good. Hold it like that. Okay, now stop. You can't push from there. 
Ball coming out wide to Minindu. Goes it to Tevin. Yes, Harsha Samarasinga trying to go in, inside. That space awarded for him. This is uh, Bandara Nayaka. Bandara Nayaka stepping off one, stepping off another. Brings two to bring him down. Tehan Karuna Nayaka. Knock forward. Knock forward by uh, Tehan on the occasion. Giving away position once again inside the opposition 22 Trinity College. Yeah, both occasions, Janindu Ratnayaka was denied. And uh, if you look at it, Rashan Bandaranaika was trying to cut through. He had to offload. He saw that you have to draw that player in, sucking a couple of defenders and offload that ball. The second occasion, Bandaranaika didn't offload. Could have done it. Okay, uh, the, previous, the previous come was good. Maintained the last seven or six minutes, Trinity playing inside the Tomian territory. Gaining some momentum, getting back into this game. Bain. It's good signs. Set. Steady. That's good. Thank you. Pereira feeding the ball into the scrum. Good, steady scrum. Trinity pushing back on the location, but Abewadana picks it at the back. Pushes off one and goes off another. But uh, Dulanjit right on top of that ball. Play on, play on. Referee says play on, so Trinity will have the ball. But advantage for Trinity. St. Thomas's College for knock forward. The ball has been put into touch. It's a dangerous place, that pitch in this uh, big club grounds. Uh, you played it well. You played it well. You had the ball, but you knocked it down. So let's play Well, on. then it seems like Trinity is losing focus on and off. And uh, well, they're working as a unit. They're putting a lot of pressure once they get there. And then again, suddenly they lose that ball. And well, the consistency should be there. The game, the name of the game, should be like you know, having possession. If you can't have possession on this game, and you will not be able to do anything, you have to have that ball, secure that ball, work that ball around, and gradually move forward. So that's the cardinal rule. Shakya Senanayaka found the target last time by going to number four over Dunal Fernando. Again, he goes right on top, but gets it. Uh, to Chetia Pananwala, but not straight on the occasion. It's a hard ground to kick and throw. St. Thomas's College grounds because of this unpredictable wind. Well, they should take note when you're going for long throws, having this wind and these conditions here, definitely the ball is going to go crooked unless otherwise you're going to throw it flat. But when you're going for the number five, six positions, you have to love that ball. So that's what happened on that occasion. Yeah, the reason they're going to number four and number six, uh, Clifford, is that the presence of Fernando Point. and the number two shot, that Trinity Set. didn't win their own lineups a couple of times, so they needed to go to number four. Here's once again the scrum. Lovely pick of a uh, lovely eight, nine, eight, nine. Ball. Not going to uh, Iriagama. Ball coming back for Hadun Patirana. And St. Thomas is pushing back. Advantage for St. Thomas's College. That, that tackler was not going anywhere off that. Looks like uh, that's uh, Nimesha Ekanayaka. Yeah, it's Nimesha Ekanayaka. He was not moving for a reason. Seems like. Uh, Probably would have had a knock on his head. Tried to get up and he just went down to ground. Could have had a hard knock. We can have a replay of that, that'll be great. But in the meantime, St. Thomas is inside the Trinity territory and trying to extend that lead. 8 0. St. Thomas is coming in early. Look at that. Look at that replay. Himesh Ekanayaka going in there. And probably he got a knock on his head. Yes, while he was going down, yes. So seems like it. So that's one of the reasons. That's the main reason that he couldn't roll off. And it looks a little bit serious where he's a little bit concussed there he's getting up and you can see he's going down again and face down he falls 
There are medics looking at him. An assessment needs to be done. So hopefully that will break the momentum of the game, which both teams have to regroup and reorganize and come back. It's a bit of a breather for both teams. Chance for Trinity to organize the defense. And while the Tomians will be planning on how to extend the attack. Well, you can follow us on uh, and interact and engage on social media with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The Papare.com, powered by Dialogue. You are watching this match live and exclusively on www.thepapare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. It has been a stop-start game, isn't it? Uh, and it's been that kind of a day as well here in Colombo. Himesh Ekanayaka will go out for a blood bin, get himself uh, ready and will come back. Well, having him off the pitch is going to be a massive blow for Trinity. He's been very instrumental. He's been involved in each and every move. He's been fantastic for Trinity. Damien Tennakon comes in place of him. There's another player down as well. And that's uh, Dulanjit Netwara. It will be an interesting call by the Tomians here and they are going for a penalty and going for three points. So they want to extend this lead in the first half and go into the half time. Well, sensible thing to do, it's a good call by the skipper of St. Thomas. Uh, knowing he's got already eight on the board, doesn't have to do anything harsh and they got a decent kicker. He's been firing from all corners and it's very much kickable distance for him. So gradually extend the lead which will make Trinity to score twice. This time it's good. It'll be 11 points to nil now here at the big club grounds. And Trinity College giving away points. At nuts, and they have yet to score. The only time they came inside the 22, gave away knock forwards. As Minindu Jay Sundara will take this kick, and here's Iriagama, good slot just inside that left hand upright. And going uh, deep inside the 22, here's Iriagama once again. Tackle! Goes into contact. Pananwala trying to turn over ball. Now the kick is put under where the ball is uh, not that easy. Now Rashan sees a gap right in front of him. Cuts back in Bandaranaika. Not yet, Leon. Here's Ekanaika now. Goes to Mer Ismail. Very strong ball carrier, Ismail. Off to uh, Minindu. Push the chip behind. The chase is on. And it's a knock forward this time by. Uh, Knocked back rather by St. Thomas and he's taken back for a five meter scrum. So good spot there by uh, Minindu Jayasundra keeping his option open and putting that chip behind. Yeah, very intelligent bit of play there by Minindu Jayasundra. Saw that gap and beautifully put that ball in and St. Thomas is under pressure but not collecting cleanly the first attempt and second one. And there you go, the five meter scrum awarded for Trinity. And Trinity has been attacking lately and they are unable to convert those moves into points. So that's the concern for they have. And this is not the first occasion, the fourth or the fifth occasion. And they have come close and yet do they have to score. Need to string on more faces, Trinity College. And uh, just play in what's in front of them. Here's Minindu now, going behind to Janindu Ratnayaka. Ratnayaka stepping back in, Ratnayaka pushing off one. Goes into contact, comes back to Netwara. Netwara gives Tackle. it to Roll Pananwala. Okay, thank you. Now the ball comes it to Damien. Tenakon pushes off one Damien. No hands, you're off it. Coming back to Netwara once again, who's trying to step off one and goes into Tackle. contact. No Netwara. hands, no. Offside. Yes, Rashan Banda Naika. Hands off to Diren Ratwatta. Roll away. 
trying to pick and drive bandar nayaka there were two movements so i'm going to go for a penalty advantage there okay, okay. double movement there by rashan bandar nayaka quickly taken by tavin off uh, to tantrige gives it back to janindu ratnayaka it's a knock forward by janindu ratnayaka and another opportunity goes backing for trinity college well they could have organized and played that attack nicely they made a real soup out of it very unsettled well the intentions are pretty clear they want to attack and they want to attack fast but it was not organized nimesh ekanayak comes in for damian tenakon after running repairs bye Sakit Pereira to feed set. the ball into the scrum and watch for Bevardhan at the back of the scrum to set that up it comes off the scrum Dulanjit Netwara trying to go and uh, bring him down tackle have to roll away first the ball is available away. now the ball is available for St Thomas's college comes back to Iriagama Iriagama put in the kick and it bounces behind Janindu Ratnayak into touch and uh, almost just outside the 22 St Thomas's College quietly just settling into this game but a error ridden game for Trinity College I don't care what the crowd says yes. I'm going to referee on the field I'm the I'm the referee on the field okay so I don't want any players coming to me and speaking to me okay Sorry, sir. last warning folks again I talk to you yeah sure please yeah. Hey boy. Very clear. Akil Jamaldin doesn't care what the crowd says, but the boys cannot talk to him. It has to be Rashan. A lot of uh, chats going there by the Trinity forwards. Again, need to get this line out right. going to number 4 again and uh, good collection by uh, Tehan Karnanayaka going into roll contact away, blue, roll away. comes out to Minindu Jayasundara off to Bandar Nayaka lovely hands off to Samarasinga gives it to Amit Kulatunga Kulatunga going into contact and the inside ball by the lock forwards off to Jayasundara now stepping off one stepping off another minindu jay sundara no hands blue and comes out wide to uh, tavin karnanayaka good tackle no feet blue off feet there by pereira shanuk pereira he is ratwat he is isolated and he offloads the ball in contact to rashan bandaranayaka Trinity College moving laterally. Yes, Madi Abdullah stand start okay. by the prop release. forward. Tackle. Coming out wide once again to Mary Smile Ismail. He just puts the ball down. Not sure what exactly happened there. To Mary Smile. Advantage over. End of advantage, but it's bounce into touch. St Thomas is playing good territorial rugby here. and that was very casual by umair ismail that well, was a heavy knock but he just couldn't take it he just put the ball down rather than falling with the ball well seems like he has dislocated his shoulder i guess and that's why probably he couldn't hold on to the ball a couple of injury concerns for trinity early on and the first one was conceding a penalty when nimesh ekanayaka went down and second one seems like a dislocated shoulder and where he dropped the ball and look at that the replay is going in there there's a big knock and there you go it is his shoulder yes he just released the ball and he's going to be out that's a scoreboard two penalties in one try 11 points to nil st thomas's and they're having a cushy lead at the moment but trinity has been trying and trying still unable to convert those into points they came close on many occasions 
Again, line out botched by the Trinitians and Sakit Pereira taken that ball. Now they will do what they will do best, the Tomians, their pitch and drive. In pass and in going into contact. Get back, yellow, yellow, get back, yellow, yellow, get back. Okay, thank you. Pick and drive, pick and drive. They do this very well, the Tomians. And this time it's a knock forward. So Makan Yashwant has come in place of uh, Umair Ismail. And looks like. So knock forward by the Tomians and knock forward again by the Trinity scrum off and that's why there's no advantage played and a scrum for Trinity inside their own 22. 11 points to nil. Comes to a Tevin Karunanaka going into contact, hitting hard is uh, young Tevin to set up for that kick off Minindu. Now this is danger time because there is uh, no one tracking back behind this defensive line for Trinity College. But Janindu Ratnayaka does very well to tackle one and play go on. to another. Referee says play on. And another advantage for St. Thomas is for knock forward. It's greasy ball here in Mount Lavinia. And the first 30 minutes has been not good at all for the Trinitians. And St. Thomas has have another opportunity here. Look at this. The ball came out, but straight in and straight out of uh, Mekan Yashwant. Well, then look, if you look at the play, Trinity had the ball most of the occasion and they've been attacking. I wouldn't say St. Thomas did dramatically well to get that 11 points, but they managed to score in all three errors. One was Rashan Bandaranaika not concentrating and conceding that first try and a couple of more with penalties. So capitalizing on the mistakes, that's what St. Thomas has been doing it. But on the other hand, uh, the momentum of attacking was with Trinity, but they were not consistent. They were creating errors every time they had the ball. They were just giving that ball away. Eleven points to nil. The Tomians leading for the Kananaris Diseram Trophy, the Shield rather, to keep that here in Mount Lavinia, just across the ground to uh, the office, where S Trinitians are trailing. Steady, steady. Okay. Yellow, hold it there. Yellow, don't push. Hold it there. And here's uh, Abe Wadana once again breaking off at that number eight. And coming out wide to Yan Disoisa. Lovely cross field, cross move by Sadak Isak, but he knocks the ball forward. Comes out to Harsha Samarasinga. Samarasinga puts the chip behind. He has a lot of pace, Harsha Samarasinga. Can he come down? And a knockback as well. And uh, in the end, it has to be Release released. Good work there by uh, the 15 and 11 there, Chaturanga and Ishak, combining well to keep the ball, but Trinity not going for the ball after tackling. And now St. Thomas's will try to push their way back by picking and driving to give a bit of angle to Iriagama. Now the box kick comes off Sakit Pereira and uh, Bandar Naika. Good take by him and they want to counter attack off to Jay Sundara. Gives it out wide to Ratnaika. Ratnaika sees space. Ratnaika puts the step on the metal. Ratnaika can he go all the way. Cuts back in. Janindu Ratnaika comes close to the post to score the first try for Trinity College. Excellent counter attack by the Trinity and so Pandaranayaka meaning to Jay Sundar and Janindu Ratnayaka combining. And Ratnayaka beat almost three defenders and a lot of pace to show to score that try. Well, this is what Rishan Pandaranayaka should have done early on as well. Couple of occasions, Janindu Ratnayaka was just isolated without getting the ball. And the moment he got the ball, you saw he showed some fantastic pace and skill and cut through the defense and shows first try for Trinity it's going to be definitely look at that beautiful offload and good quick hands and Ratnayaka taking one two and he just runs around that player and well completely beaten by pace 
and there you go and he scores under the post and beautiful Raja Paksa had no chance for St. Thomas's but Jarni the Ratnayaka beautiful finish the conversion is yet to come Minindu Jayasundara opted to go for that kick and makes no mistake seven on the board for Trinity 11-7 game on Trinity is back in it Everything clicks for Trinity. This team looks so good, isn't it? And that's one thing that has been a stop start for them uh, throughout this season. When they are on song, it's unstoppable. Well, there's been a problem here yeah, finding so. the ball. Uh, <laughs> the ground is too big, and there's not enough ball pickers here. Uh, it's a beautiful ground, isn't it? Though I love uh, coming to this place. Uh, St. Thomas has a lot of good friends as well. It's a beautiful ground by the sea, the school by the sea. Letting it bounce. Here's uh, Tehan now trying to step off one, step off another. No hands, Blue. Trinity will want to finish this uh, strongly. Here's uh, Jaya Sundara now. Again, number kicking. Six, number six, number six, hello. Get back, number six, hello. And uh, now, uh, <coughs> trying to run from the deep is. Uh, okay, no hands, no, no hands, release. No hands. Tomians trying to counter attack by through Chaturanga. Now going into contact is uh, Daniel. Yes, Pereira going to the short side. Cutting inside is uh, Rajapaksa. Picking and driving, picking and driving. That's uh, their forte. The Tomians, a good uh, hit there by Abe Vadana. Madi Abdullah pouncing as soon as Sakit Pereira caught the ball. St. Thomas is wanting, uh, trying to milk another penalty here and just to take the game away from another converted try before okay, half time. Trying to pick and drive. Here's uh, Jayasekara showing and going. Jayasekara. And trying to run on top of that ball is uh, Netwara. <laughs> Well, it was talked about before the game, St. Thomas is going to play with their forwards and they are doing it rightly. And more importantly, they are over-depending, I think slightly, I think they are over-depending on Abe Vardana, where he has been the ball carrier on most of the occasions. But on the other hand, Trinity defending very well and concentration was very good on that occasion, not conceding any penalties. And there go the restart or rather the penalty, beautiful touch, fantastic execution, but kicking with the wind. And all what they have to do is, Dinuk, they have to get the line out right now. Yeah, first game for Shakya Senanayaka. This is how the penalty came off. Look at this. Jayasekara went, but right on top of that ball was uh, Netwara. And once again, Rohes, Rohes, hello. Roll me first. line out botched by the Trinitians. Jayasekara, good inside pass. to see Mbalapitiya. Now the ball is trying to be worked and good tackle, tackle bay, so yeah. by Harsha Samarasinga. Trying to go on the short roll side. Bay. Roll bay. Yeah, Here is uh, Siam Mbalapitiya once tackle, again going bay, into it. contact. <laughs> Penalty. Off, off it says the referee. You, you the half time. Oh, That's going to be a kickable yeah, distance. Time. Definitely, they'll be going for that three points. And that's going to add more points. Or maybe they're going for touch. Yes. Let's just check with the referee on the time. We had a lot of stop and play. Half time, said the referee. But it has totally carried the ball in. It was like a cricket catch for Jasundara. He keeps the ball in place. 
Trinity needs to chase this down as well as the Thomians. But this ball will be thumped into touch. In fact, not it stays in, face, uh, in place. Now the ball is given out uh, to Ekanayaka. Trinity running through. No one wants to kick this ball into touch. Referee playing advantage for Trinity College. And it's a penalty. Captain, well, surely Captain. referee is going to have a couple of Captain. words. And could be the first card coming. Initially, Had to wait for the referees. For man in front. So, uh, subsequently, after the reverse, there was a shoulder touch. So, I'm going to reverse the penalty for the uh, offside. We are going to come back for the uh, shoulder charge, okay? That's all. Trinity College just giving away a penalty through arrogance rugby just Number after nine. the whistle was bowl blew Number nine. The, bl Number nine. the referee blew the referee and from there on it was uh, we'll, we'll change and we'll come back again okay? bleeding that was pretty much unwanted and I think it's a blood injury I guess yes to go and get himself cleaned up. That was unnecessary, Dinuk. They had the momentum. They've been attacking. They had the turnover ball. And they had the penalty as well. And conceding that going on a shoulder charge. Well, that's unnecessary after the whistle. So that's chance for St. Thomas's to get back or rather go for it. And good tap back in. Once again, it's going to be kick and chase. It's going to be a big ball. One against one. Is it going to be the half time? Seems like the half time. Yes, it is the half time. Sensible thing to do. Beautifully done. The captain wanted to tap and kick, but Idi Agama didn't. With a pushing and shoving by both teams. Handbags thrown at each other. But it's half time, nevertheless. 11 points to 7. With Aji Baji going on here. It's a shield game. And it's half time, so St. Thomas is leading 11 points to 7 ahead by 4. Well, they know more than the shield. They are praying for pride here. Well, that's that's what it's all about between these two teams. St. Thomas and Trinity. You can call them the brother schools. This is the 64th occasion they are competing and Trinity has won 37 out of it whereas St. Thomas has won 23. The last occasion St. Thomas has won was two years ago so chance for them to go on and win this. They are leading 11-17. So with that we are going into half time. Highlights of the first half coming up. This was the first try scored by St. Thomas. It's a lovely chase by Sada Kishak. Bit too casual by Rashan Bandanaka. He didn't know what was happening and didn't have any players calling as well. And then Trinity came back for the try through Janindu Ratnaika. Just put the foot on the metal and ran around passing uh, defenders like a hot knife through butter to score that try under the post. Converted by Minindu Jayasundara for seven. But nevertheless, they have had so many opportunities. This is how the scoreboard reads. 11 points to seven. St. Thomas is ahead by four. And we'll be back after the turnaround.
ලෑන් යහ පෝෂාදන්න ඉරිඟු සහල් මුං සෝයා විතරක් නෙවෙයි කිරෙත් එකතු කරලා ඒ නිසා මා චේන්ජ් වෙනවා ලංකාවේ ළමයින්ගේ අලුත්ම සෝයා ගැනීම මේක රස එක බැලිබන් යහ පෝෂ රස එකට චේන්ජ් වෙන්න කිසි ගැම්මක් නැහැ පදම පරක්කුයි සුමීරි පානේ පදමට ගහලා දවස පුරා ගත්තට දැනෙන මිහිරක් බුබුදා හොඳම මැලිබන්තේ කහට පදම නියමෙට රස සමග මුසුණා මැලිබන්තේ එක අපේ දවස රස වුණා පදම වරුනේ කහට පදම නියමෙට රස සමග මුසුණා මැලිබන්තේ පදමට කහට I have news. Let's meet. To be a man is to sweat for every last inch of it. The harder you push yourself, the louder your body will protest. From sweat to grease, grease to dandruff. Fight back with Clear Men. Two times the fighting power of ordinary shampoos. Beat grease, beat dandruff. Unbeatable performance for the unbeatable man. Power for the odds. Clear, zero dandruff, nothing to hide. You call it warmth. When you reveal your deepest emotions, it's not just art; it's freedom. And when its essence is premium cocoa butter, it's not just chocolate; it's Ravello. Chocolate so special, you call it Ravello. Stumble upon a surprise, fashion inspired by emotion. Glitz, the fashion destination. वेरी स्मार्ट I have news. Let's meet. Suvis 
Asal ilah kami nuen saya manggalak tak bawa mandah dia hilima sebab perimu kuki katiak. Ubi utsaya tiur bela tarmada. Ubi cari rey utsaya dabio kekarai. Bulin dah dia. In pasu grips. Anti bagai sorry. Clear men sebagai negatif nak kahle ayat me. Samaan shampoo lada mana degunya kerja kari clear men. Obat sebagai sorry bela dia erhi bersadan badi. Ubi jaya kerani dia permang sadana. Asam samila kami dia ala sebab perimu vidwin bersuwi sesi. Clear men. Lubang kiki men shampoo. Then Goldio body spray. Hatunwa then alut malut mat. Echo the voices of fun. Fashion inspired by emotion. Glitz, the fashion destination. Welcome back. 11 points to nil for the Canon Aris Deserum Trophy. So 11 points to 7 rather. Trinity College training and uh, St. Thomas's College playing some good rugby but gave away a lot of points. Here's a great opportunity for Trinity now. Line out on the 40 meter. Changes for Trinity College. Lennox Kalyanaratna comes in and uh, also is uh, Dulanjit Netwara or rather Neranjan Vetarna. So they need to get their line out sorted again and knock forward by Trinity College on the line out. It's a big problem for them this match. And trying to pick and drive is. Okay, release, uh, yellow. Yellow, release. Well, it's been a problem for them since game one against Zaira. Not getting the line outs correct. St. Thomas's pick and drive on their usual way to move forward. Touch play on. Backwards. Here's Kulatunga now trying to break through. Steps off one Kulatunga, steps off another. Amit Kulatunga. Now the ball comes out to Rashan. Puts the kick behind to Janindu Ratnak and Harsha Samar Singer to chase. And the ball just bounces into touch on the verge of the try line good chase by uh, the trinitians of that kick Oi, numbers 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 All in, a big yeah? line All out in. for st thomas's college in. inside All the 22 in. inside their own half on the five meter mark well seems like the trinitians have found some mojo giving confidence for them as the final try they scored seven points and that would have given them look at that replay beautifully picked up stepping in through that defense running and trying to break that line and once again line out no hands though yellow St. Thomas is picking up cleanly rolling mall now the ball comes out to center field yes another opportunity to run if they collect it clean in the pitch a long pass out to Amit Kulatunga no one in front has Arsha Samar Singha coming back in but cuts back straight into Dhamma Priya, now the ball comes out to Minindu Jaya Sundara, trying to offload, going backwards and pouncing on the ball. Bye, bye, bye. And an opportunity for Trinity College now. Penalty against the Tomians. Well, seems like the Tomian defensive line was not holding up straight. And Bandar Naik opting to go for a scrum. A little bit of a surprise call could I gone for a touch but sensible thing to do also with Dinuk because they are not getting the line outs correct and uh, instead of opting to go for touch they're going for a scrum which makes sense or rather they could have gone for three points it's very much a critical distance I guess so let's hope they're going to get this right Yes, Tehan feeding the ball off to Lennox Kalyanaratna bumps us off one bounces off another Lennox Kalyana Ratna making his presence felt off. Quick ball to Jaya Sundara. Steps off one. Jaya Sundara now goes into contact, offloading it to Tehan. They're trying to play this game at pace. Release, Jaya! And this is. Uh, Rule release! Rule release! Make a Nyashwant taking the ball into contact. Looking for opportunity. Here's Ekanayaka. Off to Samarasinga. Harsha Samarasinga now going into contact. 
Tehan. That's a big penalty. He didn't just move away, quickly taken by uh, Tidas Tantrige and a good tackle by the Tomian there to bring him down. Trying to pick and drive is uh, Mahdi Abdullah and Mahdi Abdullah scores after the, on the word, early in the second half for Trinity College. Good continuity, found some rhythm and it, finally Trinity College scoring off uh, Mahdi Abdullah in the end. Well, like I said, the attacking game belongs to Trinity in this game so far. St. Thomas has put 11 points on the board, pretty much owing to Trinity's errors. But on the other hand, Trinity really attacked and scored two tries. Now they are leading for the very first time. 12-11, conversion to come. There you go, Mahdi Abdullah picking up that ball and pushing forward, taking two or three defenders. And he just saw that line and touched down. Beautiful work. And it was a team try, I would say. Fantastic effort. Everything was uh, created of that beautiful number eight break. Bang straight even uh, Lennox Kalyana Ratna. And then from there on ball shifted a couple of faces to the left and right. And then lovely pick and go see that. Everything in that move by the Trinitians to score that try. When they get it right, they're fantastic to watch this Trinity team. 12-11 on the board. Kicking it flat, but off the right post. So the kick is not good, but Trinity leading in the game for the first time. 12 points to 11. But they are pay playing at pace, uh, Clifford. That is the that's, That will drain the Thomians. Because St. Thomas has played the game at a very slow pace. And they like to use their pick and drives, hit their forwards up. But Trinity on the hand, if they get the rhythm right, they're very quick. Yeah, very true. They know good observation. So Trinity changing gears or rather shifting gears. Minindu Jayasundara will not take any risks, but he'll kick to center field because of the wind. Now St. Thomas will try to attack from the base. It will slip there. Play on. Referee says play on and Trinity have turnover ball here. There is no one at the back. And yes, Nemese Kanayaka gives it out right to Tidas Tantrige. Tantrige looking for support to Ratwatta. Good offload to Tehan. Karuna Nayaka going into contact now. Need a scrum off. The ball comes out right to Nimesh Ekanayaka. Shrugs off one and pushes forward. The prop forward for Trinity Roll College. Roll. Playing at pace now. Standing start to Abdullah. He's alone. He needs support. Tackle. Now release blue. Forwards come to support him. Here's uh, Vetarna to Jay Sundara. Stepping off one, stepping off another. Twisting and turning and going into contact is Minindu Jay Sundara. Now the ball comes out wide. Again, a standing start from Mahdi Abdullah. He's going nowhere and he will not take his team anywhere if he starts like that. Now the ball comes to Nimesh Ekanayaka. Diren Ratwatta. Cutting back in is uh, Ratwatta off to make a Nyashwant. And that's uh, a knock forward by the Trinitians. So much play, but their forwards are just standing and collecting the ball. They are losing concentration on that occasion. Good offload, but unfortunately not taking correctly. That's Niranjan Vitarana. Very unfortunate. Salia Damanupala's, uh, in fact, uh, Mekan Vishwanthas. Time off. Offload was not cleanly collected, conceding a scrum to St. Thomas's. So that breaks the momentum that Trinity was driving forward. And that attacking gear has been switched on. And St. Thomas is tired of defending. Akib Kada comes in place of Simala Pitya. Damien Tenakon coming in place of Mahdi Abdullah. Quick change by the Inti Marika. Because he was seeing after that try, Mahdi Abdullah has emptied his tank. Advantage. Playing advantage, this uh, flanker they are coming up and breaking off faster for Trinity College, not waiting till the scrum was over. <laughs> Pushing and shoving. Well, that's nothing. part and parcel of the game, isn't it? Nothing harm, nothing harmful. He's just you know showing your power and. 
this one. Uh, well, this, this is not the first time, it's the third or the fourth time in this game so far. Okay. Uh, St. Thomas is sponsored by Union Bank and Old Boy. So once again the ball goes out of play and we have to probably wait for a couple of minutes to get another blue ball. It's one more coming in. You need to have a lot of balls, isn't it, in this uh, in this uh, ground? Because you have the railway cross and the sea on the other side. Good line out work by uh, St. Thomas is trying to run on the short side once again. Brought down. Trying to make their way through is a knock forward and out of uh, Tehan Karunanayaka picks the ball up for Trinity College. And here is uh, Tevin off to uh, <coughs> it's a knock forward yeah. penalty luckily for Rashan Bandaranayaka. Well good, good. in fact good tackle coming in from uh, Lennox there. Lennox Kalyaratna turning that ball around so there's knock forward in favour of Trinity. And if not for look at that, that's that's a charge. Lucky for Jay Sundar. Donald Fernando there has had a fantastic game so far. Stealing in the lineouts, putting a lot of pressure on the Trinity kick, Sir Clifford. And on that charge down, it was also Donald. Well, he's been a live wire, hasn't he? Fine. So even though he's playing as a second row or the lock forward. For me, he looked like a flank on that occasion. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah, he's a basketball player for St. Thomas's College as well. Now Minindu trying to pin the corners for Trinity College, giving Janindu Ratnayak a, a chase and he puts it inside. That's a dangerous place no to play rugby no, fit. on the 22 meter yard, which Sri Lanka did so well yesterday against England. <laughs> and standing on the fifth, uh, fifth on the table where no one was release, expected. Blue. Release, blue. Penalty. Rock form. A rock form says the referee, and he instructed clear to release that ball, but there was no release on that occasion. Well, Akib Jamaldin living up to expectations. He's been fantastic in the first leg as well. Very consistent referee, one of the best we can say who is right now in the business compared to the other referees. 12-11, St. Thomas is down by a point after getting an early lead and Trinity bounce back. Again the line out, so much pressure in front by Dunal. And now St. Thomas's College Rohan's powering where they threw, way through. And coming out wide to Jan De Soisa, off to Jaya Sekara, taking the ball into contact. Ball pops out and uh, Diren Ratwata picks it up. It's a knock forward advantage. <laughs> Has to jump over that player, that Tehan, and gives it out wide to make a Nyashwant. <laughs> Another penalty off feet. So now St. Thomas's College, after Trinity, trying to up their pace a bit, are struggling to keep up, trying to play the ball on the ground and also off the ruck. Problem for Diren Ratwata. Well, while I was going down, there's a player jumping on top of him, and in fact, I can probably got a knock. But it's a kickable distance, Dinuk. So the question is, it's going to be a very interesting call by Bandar Naik whether he's going to go for three points or again going for a scrum or a touch. But I would say, even even if he's been paid million dollars, he will not be going for a touch because the lineouts are not coming in favour of Trinity. And Diren Ratwata seems to be okay. He yes, okay? he's a strong lad. Okay. To get your brand recognized with Sri Lanka's number one sports hub, advertise with papare.com. Well, yes, there are plenty of sporting events. Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. And also you can call Dinuk 0777-333-228 or you can email it to dinuk.baskaran at dialogue.lk. There you go. So the easy way is to, you can call him 777-333-228. That's Dinuk Baskaran who will be helping you with the advertising. 
Dinook, you know that Dinook? <laughs> 11 12. Trinity has a marginal lead. But they're opting to go for a scrum. Dinook, I'm not sure why they're not opting to go for the kick. Once again, it's a kickable distance. Could have gone for the three points. Plenty of time on the clock. Yeah, the win factor. Stay blue, stay blue, stay blue. Yes, Lennox giving it right uh, to Tehan. And trying to counter Rakis, uh, the Tomias. Mekan Yashwan, a couple of standing forwards there for Trinity College. Now here's Jai Sundara putting the kick behind once again to Jan Induratna. I could have chased that down. But a good kick. Trinity trying to play the corners here, play the territorial game, which is the right thing. Clifford. And a mistake of St. Thomas's bounce on that. But the problem is they're so strong in their line out, St. Thomas's. Well, there you go. Two tries. Beautiful attacking moves by Trinity. Both occasions they managed to score. And on the other hand, St. Thomas's, courtesy of. Um, Burishan Bandar and I can say that St. Thomas has scored the try. So 11 12 is the score. What's and I would say, Dinak, if you look at the last 10 minutes of the first half and pretty much the second number half, all belongs to Trinity. Number 7 and number 12. Replacements coming for Trinity College. Mohammed Zaid comes in place of Direndra Ratwata and uh, Sham Robinson in place of Tevin Karunanayaka. The here. Uh, too bad for Ratwata. Would have loved to continue. <laughs> Crooked throw, very uncharacteristic. Have I cursed them? I don't know that. But the the line up was functioning Excited very well. Clifford. Yeah, I can call it the commentator's curse. 12 love and Trinity has the ball inside, pretty much inside the 22 of St. Thomas's. Can they make it happen? Can they make it count? Can they go for that extra five or three points or maybe five points? There's a stretcher coming on. Seems like Direndra Ratwata is down on his feet. He needs assistance. But on the other hand, the game moves on. 12-11. Trinity with the ball. Good refereeing by Akil. Safety first. Stop the game. Ropes! Second! On the hundred! Second! Crouch! Bind! Do not on me! Not bind! Come on, yeah! Say scrum! Say scrum! Scrum again! Yeah, boys, I'm at the end! Free kick awarded for Trinity, but Trinity opted to go for a scrum. Well, the heavy three front rovers holding that scrum up nicely. Hold it there for me. Hold it. Time off. And Tidas Dasnaika moving on to flank. Whereas Lennox Kalyaratna playing uh, as number eight. Another change coming for Trinity College. Gisha, pa Gisha Pakulatunga comes in place of uh, Janin Duratnaika, the try scorer. Had a fantastic game. Put a lot of good choices, Janin Duratnaika. Experienced campaigner for Trinity. <laughs> Stay, stay. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He has Jai Sundara now off to Robinson. Going into contact with Sham Robinson. Now the ball comes out to Minindu once again. Puts the chip behind. The chase is on. And it's a touchdown. Time off. Was it taken back? It's taken back, so we are going for scrum. So there will be a five meter on. scrum for Trinity taken College. So playing the percentage game here, Trinity. Putting the kick behind the rushing defense of St. Thomas's and gaining a lot of ground. You can see the confidence in Trinity in the second half, better than the first half. That try, which is called by Ratnayaka, probably would have given them some confidence. And the second try will definitely give them a boost. And they are on the attacking mode. 12 okay. 11 is the score. Trinity pushing Crouch. hard. They are getting their breaks Bye. right. Putting a lot of pressure on St. Thomas's. Five meter scrum for Trinity on the attacking mode. 12 11. Yes, Lennox Kalyana Ratna baking up, breaking away. Still on his feet. 
Now we'll want to pick and drive through okay. Nick and Yashwan. Stay hind most foot, hind most foot. Stay, get back, get back, bro. Okay, thank you. Another no pick hands, and no drive, hands. another pick and drive. Playing advantage. advantage. Playing advantage for Trinity College. He side is uh, going to the short side. Bandar Naik has he kept touchdown? Yes, he has. No, in fact, he'll come back for an advantage. Side into the scrum. Scrum? Boy. Uh, yeah, the are first form, that's it. Boys, uh, too many penalties at the... Uh, referee was uh, right in front of him and he was warning to put the hands off. And once again, a clear-cut chance for Trinity to convert that effort into points. Twice they missed it. The last couple of minutes, let's see whether they could make anything out of this. Crouch. If they can have another score, that's going to be a definite advantage. Point. Interesting setup by Trinity. Set. Everyone Steady. have lined up to their right of the scrum. Oh, no. Will they go blind? We'll have to wait and see. Come straight to Minindu Jayasundara. Cross to Amit Kulatunga. Steps off one Kulatunga. And uh, goes backwards to uh, Gisha Pakulatunga and pushed into touch. What defense by the Tomians on that occasion. Straight up off the line. And knew exactly what was going to happen and pushed them down. And another change coming for Trinity College. Kojana Kulatunga comes in place of Tehan. Look at this. Amit Kulatunga steps off one. And then Harsha Samarasing has just overshot that line. It was a bit too much for Gisha Patudu. Yeah, the three quarters of St. Thomas has read that move very clearly. Very much predictive. And line out shortly taken, but it's a turnover. Trinity with the ball. Take Charging ball forward yeah, was Niranjan finish. Vitarna. Okay, ball is available. The rock set up. Trinity still has the ball. Good offload coming there in the form of Kujana Kulatunga. Plenty of hands. Rashan Bandarnaika. Bandarnaika stepping inside. Taking two, but seems like a knock forward. Unable to hold on to it. Good cover defense coming in there by the Tomians as well. Look at that. Could have offloaded it. Opted to step inside. But bang, the big tackle coming there. Good defensive work by Area Gama. Again, Trinity College inside the Tomian half. But squandering so many opportunities that they can put this off to. Crouch. Back to back, three opportunities, Dinuk. Boy! Converted into points. 12 11. Well, there's plenty of time left on the clock, but that's not the case. They should be able to convert this. Points are important to win the games. Yeah, it's just. Both legs, you know what to do. Away from, uh, just a penalty away from both teams. One team will want to just get away from this territory. Crouch. Bind. Well, it seems like Rashan Bandarnaik is standing a little bit too inside. The Ethiopians will be kicking with the wind. Sakit Pereira. Don't know how we managed to squeeze into that scrum, maybe to get the ball out. But we straight down. Another change coming in. Miranga Subasinga comes in place of uh, Minindu Jayasundara, who has had a good game for Trinity. Beautiful atmosphere here. It's a full house. Papa is playing. A lot of cheering. An intense game of rugby. 12-11. Can't have much to separate these two teams, but Trinity is playing really well. The second half entirely belongs to them. So far, their attacking the gear has been switched on. They've been pushing hard and they've been playing some okay. fast rugby. Tomians. Majority of the second half they've been defending. Change coming in for St. Thomas as Tisera comes into that front row in place of. Uh, no, it's a lap. It's a lap. Looks like it's Daniel who went out. Crouch. Boyle. Set. 
now i want to study i want to study now Pereira feeds the ball into the scrum. Sakit Pereira gets it out quickly to uh, Jan De Souza and a good kick by the Tomians to exit outside the 22. In fact, it's Iriagama who kicked that ball out. Well, not much of yardage gain, but good enough to breathe. Uh, numbers? And to get out of pressure. All in, all in, all in. It's just only a point margin, whoever scores, cramped, I mean, if cramped. they're going to go on to the final couple of minutes with this, and it's going to be very risky for both teams. Yeah, exactly. It's just a point away. The Papare most popular player, schools player, rugby player of 2019. You can vote now by visiting the papare.com slash schools rugby slash vote. As uh, the line out has botched once again, now Trinity trying to play this uh, wide. Here's Harsha Samarasinghe, has a lot of space. Gives it to Gisha for slips on the pitch, the cricket pitch here, and he's been held up by the Tomian defense. He managed to leave the ball behind, and a penalty comes up for holding on by the Tomians. Rip off that mall, but couldn't release. Well, the pressure that Trinitians are putting on Tomians are committing some errors, and uh, that the pace that Trinity is playing at is not really suiting the Tomians right now. Okay. Rashan Bandar Naik takes kicking duties. The pace that Trinitians are playing right now is causing problems for the Tomians. Yeah, exactly. So that's why you see that was held up ball, but there was three Trinitians who pounced on that occasion. Yes, you're right, uh, Clifford. It's a bit hard to defend because they're used to a slow game pattern, but once Backwards. again, the line out has been botched by the Trinity and it has been a big problem for them. The launch pad has not Backwards. come good. Ball comes out. It's a kick by uh, Zaid Faisal. And now Gishapa brings uh, his opposition player, Jan De Soisa down. Sakit puts the kick behind. And uh, Rashan Bandar Nayaka comes in and needs support. He kicks across field to uh, the wind taking Sham Robinson. Number 23, man in front. Well, I think uh, he was there? offside. Come there. So he was offside, yeah, so referee is giving the option the kick here or the scrum Penalty there. Penalty there, come there. Penalty there. A little bit of poor decision there by Bandar Naika. Penalty here, scrum is there. Trying to kick into the wind. And now this is an opportunity for St. Thomas as they have been nice. defending for so long. And now they have come in. Uh, another 11, 11 minutes. So after about good 25 minutes, St. Thomas is coming into Trinity territory. Very important to Sir Clifford. They have not conceded a point. The rolling mall is also strong. It will take some defending here to do for Trinity College. They'll need to take a leaf out of uh, the book of uh, St. Thomas's of how they defended. But more or less, it was all errors given away by the Trinitians. Well, pretty Here's evident. A, here's an opportunity. Again, the line out. This time by Dinal, Dunal. Referee playing advantage. Here's Kujana Kulatunga. Has uh, Bandar Naik again kicking into the wind. No advantage. We are going to a scrum. It will be a scrum. Forward. Uh, no, there was a tactical or territorial. Well, I'm not sure so what was the call because the kick was correct and it went in for touch. And yeah, referee had to bring the ball back in. Uh, I'm not sure why it was because he was playing advantage and good clean touch there by Bandar Naika. A little bit confusing. But I'm sure referee would have spotted something better. Yeah, it was a line, knock on of the line out, uh, Clifford. And then uh, it was a kick made, and advantage was over. So there was another knock on, so that's why Boy. he brought back uh, the advantage for Trinity College here. For steady, the yeah. Now make it Straight steady. Off that line out. Now the ball comes out. Hold it, hold it, hold it there. Here's Kujana. It's uh, Sham Robinson now trying to power his way through. 
Still inside their 22, danger time for Trinity College. They need to find the right part of the field to kick. That's to the right side. This time Rashan does it well, but puts a high up and under. And good take there by uh, Chaturanga. And Iria Gama was in support, or rather Ishak Sadak. So there was no ruck, and here is uh, Kujana Kulatunga trying to play himself out. Off to Minindu. First touch, play on. Opportunity now for the St. Thomas's team here. Trying to run off from the back, and it's a forward pass to Sadak Ishak. He was put in, in space, but a forward pass, Clifford. Yeah, I was offloading along with the tackle. So that's what happened. Couldn't calculate. And the receiver, in fact, he was right in front of him. And there was Ishak. Well, both the teams for the last 10 minutes or so a little bit unsettled because the pressure is on just a point so they are very much panicking to score like you know, who is going to score first so that's the goal they have yeah both teams giving away by mistakes unforced errors sit steady there hold it hold it there hold it here is uh, Lennox Kalanaratna giving to Kojana Kulatunga out goes uh, to Miranga Subasingo, who pushed the kick behind once again to uh, Gisha to chase and it goes into touch. So again, Trinity trying to park themselves inside the opposition now. There are threats of this Tomian team to run the distance. Players like Ishak and Idiagama and Chaturanga can do that, but they have not done that this season. It's about uh, seven minutes on our clock to go. Line out taken down by Kamin Jayasekara. Coming back to Iriagama. He puts the kick behind. And at the back is uh, Gishapa. Good take by him, Gishapa Kulatunga. He slips on the pitch once again. Roll away, roll away, Blue! Trinity need to avoid this area of the field and Thomians will keep punching on that field because that's where the You were not contesting for the ball. The you were not contesting for the ball. Again coming back and trying to keep uh, Trinity on field. Here's Bandar and Ayaka putting the chip behind. It bounces nicely for the Thomians and he takes back Take inside back. the touch. There's something happening for fullbacks today, Clifford. <laughs> I don't know if they're trying to spot the try line and the in goal area, but both fullbacks who have played on the far side on that corner couldn't judge properly and maybe not the, going for the kick. Maybe the cursed area, you say. Well, I don't know. What was he thinking? What was he thinking? Would have been better off trying to kick that ball or maybe securing that ball. He had a couple of players around him and he just took two steps behind and went for the. On prayer. Maybe maybe he was under pressure. Bind. Yeah, under pressure because he was alone. <laughs> steady there, steady, steady. <laughs> so five meter scrum. Let's see how Trinity is going to react. Lennox will be waiting for the ball to come out. Oh good tackle coming in. Beautifully defended by Thomians. Good pressure on Trinity. Number 18, you have to release the ball as soon as well, you well, go, well. go into touch, okay? Kuja Nakula all fired up. Okay. Just the heat of the moment. And... It's a substitution coming in. Well, obviously, he was frustrated. He couldn't collect that ball cleanly. So, line out in favour of Trinity. They have screwed up each and every line-up they got. And either they have overcooked it or maybe the throws are not cleanly collected. And this time they collect it clean. And Trinity on a mole. Here's uh, Super Singer trying to step off one, steps off another, and goes in. Here's Kulatunga now. Ball is spread out wide to Rashad Bandarnayaka. Off to Amit Kulatunga. Has he touched down in the corner? Referee will check with the assistant referee. 
Oh, I'm not sure whether it's going to be a try or not. So let's wait to hear the referee's confirmation. Uh, I have no uh, evidence of uh, play grounding. Are you happy with it? Uh, so uh, that was a held up right there. You go for a scrum here. Yeah, are you happy with it? Try here, cannot. So I'll uh, turn for a try. You happy with it? I think grounding is okay. Grounding is okay. Right. Oh, there you go. The third try for Trinity. What an effort. They've been working on this try for multiple locations and finally they get it. Very interesting call there by the referees Clifford Akil Jamal Din. We'll have to see. Akil didn't see a grounding, he said. But the assistant referee has seen a grounding and there was no foot in touch. So the referee initially wanted to go for a five meter scrum. But then the assistant referee said there was enough grounding that he saw for the try. So maybe the benefit of the doubt being given. <coughs> well, it's a try and try counts. Well, it's all in the game. You have to wait for the referee's call and play along with that 17 11 Trinity leading. But finally, they've been rewarded with all the hard work they did. And the conversion is yet to come. A yeah, crucial conversion, Clifford. If this goes through, it'll be more than a converted try for St. Thomas's. If not, it'll be just a, a converted try that'll need for them to win this game. It's 11 points to 17. The conversion not going through. So St. Thomas is still in the game. Yeah, the ball just sailing across the post. Doesn't going it didn't go through that. So 17-11 is the score. Trinity leading three tries and one conversion, or rather two tries and a goal. Beautiful restart, putting the ball up in the air, giving enough time for the forwards to charge, but good collection, beautiful hands, beautiful offload, and Trinity is securing that ball and forming up a nice ruck. Good work done by the forwards. Use it, use it. Didn't give much opportunity for the charging Thomians. Again, a kick poked up in the air. Good collection. And just a misstep. A good offload as well. Beautiful stuff. And under pressure is Iria Gama. Thomas has still managed to secure in the ball, trying to work it through the forwards. You're and bringing that ball in front is Tisera. And the big lad, Pereira. Trinity is finding it difficult to cope up with him. Abhivardhan is still around. He's opting to go on the blind side. Fresh legs for the Tomians and they are doing the job for them. They have managed to gain about good 25 yards. Heading into the Trinity territory. Trinity shouldn't be losing focus here. Shouldn't be committing any errors. Release, release, yellow! On that gap through. And Tomians forwards are during, beautifully doing it. Step by step. A yard by yard, they are coming forward and driving forward. Trinity is still finding it difficult to turn over that ball. Just holding back Trinity. 17-11. Trinity leading now. Not a comfortable lead, I would say. If St. Thomas has score and convert, that could be the game for St. Thomas. Has. Play on. Oh, loose ball picked up. Turnover. Beautifully Take done. Release, Blue. St. Thomas is losing concentration. Opting to go for that punt. Once again. Oh, not collecting it cleanly, but under travel, under pressure. And Hetiarachi. Once again, loose ball. Trinity turning it over. Lennox. Kalyana Ratna taking through defenders. There you go. And finally, not releasing the ball. The momentum killed. And turnover ball for St. Thomas's. Dinok, what a passage of play. A fantastic passage of play. Both teams attacking. Can you hold it there for a second? And St. Thomas has almost came okay? inside the Trinity 22. But not guarding enough. That was one hell of a steal there by Mohamed Zaid. He's such a good player. Comes off the bench. Okay? Makes so much in impact off the lineouts. And at this time of the ruck just came around. Saw the ball was, ball was out of the ruck. Picked it up and went. And the momentum carried Trinity forward. 
And Jan De Sousa just uh, fumbled off that high ball. From there on, again the ball popped off of the ruck. Kujana Kulatunga picked up and ran. But in the end, uh, it was a bit holding on by Lennox going into that contact. So a lot to do for St. Thomas's from here on. This is where the injury took place for Damien Tanakon. Look at that. Mohamed Zaid pumping his legs. A good body position. And now he put the kick behind to Jan De Soisa who fumbled this. And Trinity put a lot of pressure. Another replacement comes for Trinity College. Salia Damunupola. And St. Thomas's looks like want to tap and run. It's an interesting call. Because looks like Akhil Akhil has called this uh, last move. Sensible thing to do rather than kicking we'll and wait chasing. And, wait and see. Because the clock is stopped. So a couple of injury concerns for Trinity. And don't don't charge, okay? Kick is good into touch. Four. Four. Four man. For a four man line out, St. Thomas's College. Get back, get back, get back, Tilo. Line out pick good. But an interception by Kujana Kulatunga. That was TJ Piranara's stuff. And he comes under the post to score and see the game for Trinity College. Time off. But the referee will want to just check if he, if he was onside on the occasion. But if he was, that was one spectacular try from Trinity. Let's see. Yes, Dunal. Now the line out is over. Oh, he was very much onside. He was very much onside. Uh, it was a slow pop out pass. Yeah, he can, he can, uh, well, let's see what the AR is going to come up with. Offside penalty coming up for St. Thomas. Right. So there is no try. There is no try. Uh, it was a poor call by the AR. Well, probably, probably he didn't have the video. He didn't Put have it, the video uh, evidence. The so probably, like, well, maybe he was right. But we are having the video reviews. But again, chance for St. Thomas. Offside. But good decision by Akhil to check that back, opting to go for that kick and charging towards the Trinity territory. Now Trinity is going to be in trouble. Trinity under pressure, I would say. St. Thomas is one score away. But Trinity was not contesting the Thormian uh, line-outs. Let's see whether they are going to contest on this occasion. 17-11 Dinuk. Big line out coming up. Pressure for St. Thomas's. And Dunal Fernando has stepped back. It's another steal. And it's Zaid Faisal once again. Mohamed Zaid has come into this party and has done a couple of steals. And the kick is made out. And that will be the game. Canon RS Serum will remain at Trinity for another year and we need to pick a player of the match Clifford I'm not sure whom should we go to well it's going to be a tough call um, because so many contenders they played really well uh, but for me the first half was pretty much the contribution came from um, Nime Sheikh Naika who was pretty much the live wire he played throughout but the turning point of the game for Trinity was the first try by Ratnayaka, Janidu Ratnayaka, but again he was taken off in the second half. And Kooja Nakulatunga coming in and making an impact along with uh, Kalyan Ratna. But on the other hand, Tomians, they were very much involved in the game. Yeah, they were. And our player of the match, our clear men player of the match goes to Dunal Fernando of St. Thomas's just because he kept the Tomians in the game. And he kept the Tomians throughout and he stole most of the lineouts today and created so much problems for Trinity. 
and he will be our player of the match, clear men player of the match, Dunal Fernando. So that's the final score. 17 points to 11. Trinity winning the Canon RS this era for the third consecutive year. And will stay back in Candy for another year. Well, good comeback victory by Trinity. Going down in the first half and second half. They produced some brilliant rugby. The second half entirely belonged to Trinity. But St. Thomas's, they were playing pretty much on the attacking or rather defending mode until the final few minutes. The 11 points put on the board by Thomians were by the errors caused by Trinitians. Bandar Naika conceding that try, not keeping an eye on the charging player. Well, in fact, that was Ishak and two penalties. So that's where the score remained. And the turning point for me was Janidu Ratnaikas. Pretty much a beautiful solo effort, a good try, getting Trinity back into the game. And second half, it was a team effort. Fantastic play. Yeah, played the percentage game in the second half. Trinity College kept the game inside the opposition 22. And that managed to keep them on the scoreboard high as well. Here's the second half highlights. It was uh, 10 unanswered points and this was one of those Amit Kulatunga sliding his way through into the try line and the assistant referee saw that Kujana Kulatunga picked up a splendid off first interception but couldn't complete and then finally Kujana finished the game for Trinity College. Three tries to one, one converted and two penalties for St. Thomas's College. Dunal Fernando is our player of the clear men player of the match today. 17 points to 11 full time after leading 11 points to seven St. Thomas's College. Just remained there in the second half. Yeah, if you look at the game overall, you know, it was a roller coaster right from the beginning. Both the teams are having opportunities but not converting. But Trinity had most of the opportunities. But they played with good experience. And upcoming fixtures will be Science taking on Wesley. That's tomorrow at Air Force Grounds at 3.40 p.m. And Dharmaraja taking on DSN Nayaka in the upcountry. That's the on the hills. Nithavela, home of Sri Lankan rugby, I would say. And that's at 3.45 p.m. Well, the five minutes is the summertime difference, I guess. <laughs> so Trinity taking back both NS Walter trophy and the Canon RS Deserum Shield. Here is what they will up be up against next against Wesley College at Sugadadasa on the 29th of June. And then Royal against St. Joseph's could be a league final. We have to wait and see for the results on the other side of the park how that have finished. Royal have beaten Isipatana and St. Peter's have beaten St. Joseph's 23 21. So there you go. It'll be a Royals league to take if St. Joseph's don't spoil their party. It can be, it can go either way. We'll have to wait and see how the points table turns out. So St. Peter's will have to wait and watch and as we go into the final week of the league. And that brings us to the end of the coverage for this evening, Trinity taking the NS Walter and the Canon RS Deserum back to Candy and goodbye from Clifford Surrender and myself along with the Papare crew. Good night from the Big Clock Browns.
ंग <laughs> शैंपू Special. She's not just a girlfriend. She is your sweetheart. When you feel it, you don't just call it sunshine. You call it warmth. When you reveal your deepest emotions, it's not just art. It's freedom. And when its essence is premium cocoa butter, it's not just chocolate. It's Ravello. Chocolate so special. You call it Ravello. discover fashion inspired by emotion glitz the fashion destination ili seet rasni anu hada gessena smart ne bituliya adu wedi una ma hasura ganna va smart bituli tiyana kema bima handuna ganna va dura arina wahana vara gana honda da ganna va action and smart velas ओन destination.